Cool kid. I just did a thing. And I messed up bad. Now my purse string is hurting. I'm certain life's gonna get real hard. Cause I'm a tart. Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> That's it out loud. Guess what, cool kids? I just way overpaid for silver. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are not gonna believe what I paid per ounce. Yeah, for some BS. Yeah, but que sera, sera, right? So, here we go. Uh, 1941, 50% garbage from England. Uh, $11.86 for this coin. Yeah. Nah, very good. Look at that edge there. Look at that. You see that ding? Man. Yeah, this this coin, ugh, we really messed up. We really messed up. All right. Then, huh, regular old Canadian dime, 1945, $3.92. $3.92. Hi, Finny. Hi, baby. $3.92. He's even sad. Do you hear him? You hear him? He's sad because he knows I done messed up. All right. 1943 D, Denver Mint, Australia. Yes, that's real. Denver made our coins, or their coins during the war. So did San Francisco. 550 for a 1943 D, six. Why on earth would I pay that much? I paid. $65 an ounce, guys, for these coins. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. 1956, Florin, Australia. 50%. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. $11 for the, a quarter. That's like paying $11 for a quarter. Eleven eighty-six dollars for a quarter, guys. A 50% quarter. Oh my gosh. Let's beat up. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at this. this. This coin's been defaced. Defaced. Oh my gosh. <sighs> 392. 392 for a defaced 1949 Canadian 10 cent. Coin, it's no good. These are not the numbers that I need to be pulling to get ahead. What am I thinking? Oh, wait. Here's a shilling. 1890, that's nice. 1890's nice. Uh, $10.97. That's like four dollars worth of silver tops. Tops probably more like three fifty. I'm, I'm paying triple melt. That's no good. That's that's no way to stack. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh. Well, that's a coin. That's a coin. I don't know if it's worth it, but I paid $2.26 for a 1900 fish scale. That seems way too high. It's only like 70 cents worth of silver. Why would I pay that? What was I thinking? Oh, wait. There was a point. This whole lot was a gamble on one coin in a blurry picture. One coin to rule them all. And we're going to look at it real quick here. I'm going to show you why I gambled. And I'm going to show you if we pay, if it paid off. So, here we go. Oh, 
All right. So this is our last coin. It's going to show. This is going to show us how to grade them. Now the first thing we have to realize is what is our coin. So our coin is a 1902H. 1902H. Now the 1902 no mint mark is more scarce. Uh, there's the coin. So this coin was, uh, the photo on it was very blurry, but I believed it was worth a gamble. Primarily because the shoulders look fairly decent. And then the real key here was the reverse appeared to be in pretty darn good shape. Have some luster even maybe. Um, of course I was going off pictures. So how would this coin grade out? That's the question. Now, believe it or not, the strikes on these particular coins are always kind of weak. So, let's see. There's a little bruising up in that corner there. A little bruising there. But nothing, nothing too major. No major dings. Okay, let's see what we got here. We paid... $4.51 for a 1902 age Canadian dime. But really, this coin is the coin we were buying. So let's see how we did. Traces of wear with 60 to 70 percent of mint luster remaining. I don't think we're there. So let's check EF 45, 40. Bands on the jewel crown have lost their rounded contour and are flat. Let's see. Well, I don't think they have. quite nice uh, well, let's see let's look at the eyebrows I mean there are eyebrows there tip of the mustache and ribbon bow are worn tip of the mustache is there uh, the ribbon bow appears to be there I hear. all right uh, mint luster is gone now that I'll agree with let's see I don't see any luster but who knows this coin might have been polished or something let's check the fields Definitely got some bag marks on it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Definitely some bag marks on that bad boy. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. Oh, yeah. This coin's jacked up. Is that the plastic? Or, no, that's the coin. Alright, so there's some. Looks like damage. So. Alright, well, that gamble didn't work out. Look at that. It's. Yeah. All through here. Unfortunate. Otherwise, it'd be a really nice coin. Okay, well, the reverse is really nice. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that gamble didn't pay off, but not all is lost. Not all is lost. No, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. We have a second lot. 
that I procured that I got a very nice price on. So here we go. We redeemed ourselves a little bit. Same seller, same same package, um, same shipping, so combined shipping. Um, here's a 1914 10 centavo, 80% silver. Didn't know Mexico made 80% silver, did you? Well, in the teens, they did. And there we go. Yeah, fairly nice coin for $1.51. Let's see how much of our Libertad's still there. Well, it's all there. Yeah, so not a bad little coin. Not a lot of wear on that. Okay, that's, you know, this is right, maybe just a touch above no. All right, this coin's a little rough, but you know, when you pay about melt for it, that's okay. This is a two gulden Bavaria. Maximilian II, Bobby, anyway, Bavaria, 1855 is the year, two gulden, and it's all kinds of jacked up, but for $14.35, I think that's okay, yep, it's a big honking German coin, on the smaller end of the crown size. All right, and then we got, now all this was like $23 an ounce. We got a 10 centesimi, or centesimo, that's it. Uh, these are the Diaz centes, centesimos. These were made in uh, the United States, in uh, Philadelphia, for Panama. And uh, this one's in decent shape. You got most of your uh, letters, so. Not a bad coin, um, especially for $3.39. So we did okay there. This shilling came with a lot. I put it down as free because this is copper nickel crap. Well, that's a pretty cool design. Too bad they didn't make it in silver, huh? that. Now these are cool in a proof if you've ever seen a proof. Um, here's a, now I wish this was a five cent coin but it's a ten cent coin. If it was the five cent coin we'd be pretty happy. 1921 and this is the same amount of silver as your regular old uh, Canadian dime. Yep, 1920 through 1966. 67, it gets a little hokey. 68's no good, 50%. But uh, we'll say 1920 through 1966. Those are the, the basics. All right, now this is another coin that's actually worth checking out. And we already kind of know the standards, don't we? So let's check it out. This might have actually paid for the other lot. All right. This is a 1907. And we've got some nice details on this coin. Uh, there's some bruising on the rim here. But let's see how the reverse looks. Yeah, there's a lot more wear on this reverse than the other one. I would say this is probably very fine to extra fine, somewhere in there. Now, other coin is AU, but it's got damage, so that's okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a nice little coin for uh, 81 cents, though, so I'm okay with that. All right, so that's a, yeah, that's a good clean coin. I like that. That's a, and then this one's beat up, but it's a harder date. Eight eight hundred sixty thousand vintage, eighty one cents of course, and eighteen ninety two fish scale. It's yeah, like I said, that's about good. That's good, good, probably good, but it's got damage on it, so. 
It might even be very good, but it's got that damage, so we're out. But harder date, slightly harder. Not it's not key or nothing, but it's a nicer date. All right, guys, that's me playing around gambling. Okay, and this is what we end up with. Uh, some of these coins are pretty cool. I really like this uh, shilling, and I think I think this fish scale is probably the coolest one we got. It's uh, probably very fine, but again, Queen Vic stuff is hot right now, and this coin probably helps me out on making my money back if I were to sell this stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. I hope you find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. If you don't find them, don't blame me. I got more hot lots coming in. Uh, for example, yesterday, I did get a coin, sterling silver, crown size coin, kid you not, shipped from Europe <laughs> for $6. Yeah. Uh, the coin is a uh, melt value of $17.31 at the time of purchase, and I got it for $6. And when that comes in, I'll show it to you. And we'll talk about some of the techniques I use to get that coin. And I am not one to hide the secrets, guys. Happy to share them with you because I want to grow the hobby. I want to grow the community. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.